Uh, thank you, Avania, for your questions for engineers. Um, I'm going to do my best to answer them. Uh, first off, what is your job and what do you do? So my official job title is Postdoctoral Research Associate here in the Biochemical Engineering Department. What I do on a day-to-day -day basis is mainly research, so um, in particular in biochemical engineering. But I do a little bit of teaching and lab management as well, so I kind of boss everyone around and make sure everything runs smoothly. What is your daily routine like? Uh, I don't really have one, which is part of the reason I like the job, yeah, yeah, yeah. but my days boil down to basically two types. Um, Lab-based, where I'm doing the kind of science that you see on TV in a lab coat, doing the pipetting and everything. And also, uh, because I work with automation, I generate a lot of data, so there's a few days where I spend uh, at the computer, data analysis, the inevitable paperwork that always comes, um, that kind of thing. And, of course, a little bit of teaching. Uh, question three, what made you choose this career path? Uh, luck, mainly. <laughs> it sounded interesting, basically. Um, I've always been interested in science. Uh, my background is in organic chemistry, and I saw a job advertised in biocatalysis, and I thought, enzymes sound great, I'll try that, and that's how I've ended up here. And I've been here for four years nearly now, and it's brilliant. <laughs> Um, what is the best and worst things about your job? Uh, the worst thing is definitely the washing up. I hate washing up, uh, it's inevitably generated and you do have to do the boring stuff sometimes. Uh, the best bit, there's two best bits really. Uh, if you, when you get results uh, from an experiment uh, that proves the theory that you were investigating, that's fantastic. Uh, and also when you're teaching, uh, if you have a student who's struggling, and then they finally get the, the concept that you're trying to uh, suggest to them. It's fantastic, the way they light up with, oh yes, finally, I've got it. That's brilliant. Uh, are there any projects you're working on? So my current project that I'm working on is the application of automation to biocatalysis, uh, so enzyme discovery development. Lots of jargon there, but basically what we're looking for is uh, new chemical processes catalyzed by enzymes, um, and that requires a lot of uh, throughput in terms of experiments. So we use automation, so I have a liquid handling robot called Gertie that I work with, uh, and she does my experiments for me because she can do work much faster than I can, and much more accurately than I can, and I just analyze her data and work out where we go next. Um, what do you think about the roles of women in engineering? So diversity is really important, uh, particularly I think in engineering where our aim is to solve problems, uh, particularly important societal problems, and that requires a diversity of viewpoints. But in any time in science or in engineering, a diversity of viewpoints is very useful because you could be missing something if you're just looking at it from your own, being challenged, having other people's experience come in, particularly in an interdisciplinary workforce, is just massively important. And I'm particularly interested in women in engineering, obviously I'm female and in engineering, so I'd like more people to join us. Is there anything you think the young generation needs to design that could benefit the world? Oh, there are so many challenges, so many massive challenges. Um, climate change, uh, cyber security, automation, uh, energy resource management, how we make sustainable processes. This is stuff we're all currently working on. This is stuff that we'd love you to join us in, in working on. Um, it could be, you know, anyone could uh, bring up the new idea that really revolutionizes these, these kind of fields. And these are massive societal impacts. They're really fun challenges to work on. Why do you jo enjoy your job? Oh, there, there are many reasons. <laughs> um, I love puzzle solving. I've always loved puzzle solving. Um, so that kind of day to day, can I solve a puzzle? Can I work out how to get this to work? I love, I love the fact that, particularly in engineering, we're so close to application. So you, you know, something that you're researching in a couple years time could be helping someone. Uh, you know, it's a new material, it's a new drug, that kind of thing. It's, it's great to see the impact of your research. Um, and yeah, training other people as well is fantastic. So I do a lot of outreach and going into schools and going, this is what I do, this is how cool, what I do is how cool. Um, so it's fantastic. What areas of engineers, engineering are there shortages in? All of them, please come be an engineer. <laughs> we have, so um, if you think about everything in society involves engineers, cars, uh, bridges, but also drug manufacture, ice cream manufacture. Um, in our first year, our students go to an ice cream factory. We need engineers for that. 
um, any kind of thing where you need an, a practic practical application of it, which is pretty much everything, requires an engineer, you know, lights, um, train signals, there's loads of engineers working on stuff like TFL, um, and they don't just work on the big, you know, let's place some rail somewhere, it's, you know, how do I ensure the safety mecha mechanisms on this train work? Uh, there's lots of systems engineering as well, in terms of, you know, how do we get processes to work together? It's a fantastically big range um, of areas that we work in, and we just need more people because society requires vast quantities of, of science and technology that we need engineers to help us with. And finally, what other projects have you been involved in the past? As I mentioned before, my background is in organic synthesis, so my PhD thesis is on transition metal catalysis. So it's basically developing new methods of chemical catalysis uh, and I spent a year in France working on DNA as a, a chiral structure for chemical catalysis as well. So um, there's a long theme running through of catalysis of various different kinds uh, in my work. So thank you uh, Avania for your questions and I hope that answers them.